What do we have here? Is it baby people? Are we excited? Do we want to go in? Oh. We're finally allowed to go in, guys. Let's see what she has in store today. Okay, guys, we are here at your favorite Lady Peacock Vintage Headquarters. You're all going to lose your minds because look at all this. And we're going to go around and look. Y'all want, want to get a perm? A sheep with a perm? That's a perm roll that's here. I mean, how fun is all this? Oh. What's this? Look. A, a sanitary belt made in Chesterfield and London. Well, a girl can never be too careful. All right. I should get that and send it to a uh, somebody. I don't, <laughs> I should really buy that. So this is obviously the jewelry because, hello, me. Look at that. Okay, so look at these are handmade. Aren't those great? Mm -hmm. Look at this handbag. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's a, is this, is this spoon? I'm not sure. Or Dave would say spoon. I can't say it. So, we're gonna look at this. Oh, y'all, look at this shirt. Is that great? Oh my god. That is so cute. It's only 10 pounds. Bargain. Some suits. Here we go. Oh, look at the case. Okay, we're going to talk to Lady Peacock here in a minute, but I wanted to give y'all a little, a little tour of the shop because it's so good. I've been coming in here a while, and I love it. Thank God we're not locked down anymore. Okay, so let's go. So we have scarves, more scarves, and yet more scarves. We've got bags, snoods, hats. PV chance? I don't know what that is. Look at it. Oh, there are my little hats. Okay. Another good purse. Tur oh, y'all want a turban? Mm hmm. Right, so let's go. Is this oh, look at this. Gentlemen's section with all the different ties, hats. So we're gonna go look at the back. This is, oh, look at the photographs. Oh, the postcards and photographs. Oh, I'm gonna have to get some of these. Look at that. Yeah, I'll be purchasing some items here and then I'll do a haul afterward, but look. Look how good it is. Oh. Look at this jacket. This is velvet. It's like painted on. I mean, you know, you've seen the word at the grocery store. And she's got, look at all these books. Film star, who's who. First aid kit. Occupational costumes in England. Oh, that's cool. Antique household appliances and gadgets. That's good. <clears throat> Look. They satisfy. Oh. Little knitting, and she's got loads of fabric. Look at all 
like sewing bags. Oh guys, look. Look at these this storage for this knitting needles. I mean, there's so much to see. It's just, oh, I love the sewing boxes. Oh my God. This one's really nice. This one here. Let's just have a look. Look at that one. I'm sure they're all for sale. Look. I better ask how much that one is. Look at these. Look at these. So cool. Oh love. Look at that. Look at these. I know they're clear glass, but look how pretty. Look at that. Oh, you guys. Look at the cups. It looks like one of these craft cups here. This, oh, curtains. The Afghans. Ooh. Yeah, I have bought so many Afghans from her. I absolutely, that one's nice. That one's good. I mean, I bought kitchen towels from her. This is cute. Look at these. All these bags. Oh my God, these are like shopping bags. I love a good shopping bag. Look at that knitting. There's all these patterns. <gasps> Look at this pin cushion. Oh my God. There's more buckles there. And here's all like the little dresser scarves and So I'm going to take this up front because I want to. Oh, look at her. Mm-hmm. Back here, checking everything out. Oh, look at the fabric. So many good fabrics. Oh, if I could sew. I mean. Little patterns in here. Oh, cozy pram set. All right, so you guys want to have a chat with Miss Lady Peacock? Her real name is Lydia. Just, y'all need to know that. To y'all, she's Lady Peacock. So, can we ask you, how long have you been collecting vintage? Oh, now, um, I've been collecting vintage for around about 10 years. And what? Um, but I'm, a lot of it's to do with my background. I'm a textile specialist, so I just love history and anything to do with design history. From 1900s up to 1970s. So, what would be the thing you collect? Oh, hats. I'm a lover of hats. I love, I've got a, a real passion for hat making myself, and I collect a couple of pieces of hats. And yeah, anytime I see a really pretty hat, I, I've got to get it. Especially 40s hat or a 50s little cocktail hat. Mm, I'm that way with brooches. <laughs> so, what do you think is coming back? What do you think is the big thing that like, this is gonna come back or this is what people are now interested in, in the, in, in the terms of any vintage? I think at the moment, with the, it's kind of a game of two halves. You've actually got um, a lot of the younger generation and massively into 80s, um, big boxy jackets, shoulder pads. That seems to be making a bit of a comeback to the point where I'm really struggling to get hold of some authentic big shoulders, yeah. um, 80s jackets. Um, but the 40s and the 50s, is, it's just classic. And I think that never goes out of style. No, that's it. And we've, it's so reflective on modern day as well. We've got a lot of 40s stuff is kind of still springs back in a lot of modern fashions now. 
Um, but fashion always kind of looks back in time. So like Bieber, for example, um, Bieber style in the 70s was looking back into the 30s. Um, and obviously sort of 70s were also looking back into the 30s. So it's always, it's always reflective and it always still comes back round. So it's always worth if you've got something from the past just to hang on to it because it will come back round eventually. So what do you sell the most of in your shop? I think during summer it's our tea dresses. Um, mm. Just simple, pretty tea dress. That's one of the biggest. Um, but at the moment it seems the trends have kind of booked a little bit. They've changed I think since lockdown. And, um, it's mainly been about homewares, anything to do mm. with being at home, the comfort of home. That's been the main thing at the moment that's changed massively this year. Yeah, I find that with when I, on my, when I resell it, a lot of it is homewares. It's yeah. like you're stuck in the house. We might as well make it look good. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Obviously, I love the brooches. <laughs> there you go. And um, so, what do you plan on doing with the shop? Like, I, I know you're on Facebook. I know you're on Instagram. Would you, everybody, be excited about this? Be a guest on my YouTube channel at some point. Oh, what do you mean? I don't want to put you on the spot. No, but now you have to say yes because everybody's you, watching. I didn't even have to think about that. Ah! That was a definite yes. <laughs> Because we could do that through like a StreamYard, which is like an app, whatever. I'm, I'm, yeah. I would love to have you on my channel because everybody would die to meet you, see you. And oh, they, they think you're amazing. I think you're amazing. Oh, thank thank you, you so much for your time. Absolutely. And uh, guys, we'll uh, come back again here and look around. And then after the video, I'll show you what I bought and I'll show you my vintage haul. Bye, guys. Bye, Lydia. Bye. Bye-bye. So... What do you think about Lady Peacock Vintage Headquarters? Amazing, uh, fabulous, just like she is. She is absolutely amazing. And to think that shop is in my town. Now, she's only open on Saturday because she does work full time during the week. Um, but I will go on Saturday and she's got great things. And she also knows I'm a reseller, so it's not, you know, it's not awkward. She knows, she's fully aware. <laughs> so, ah. Uh, I just, I, I hope you enjoyed her as much as I did. I, here's the, here's the deal. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Maybe soon. Yes, it's going to happen. We're going to do a live. I'm going to do a live with Lady uh, Peacock. Uh, her real name is Lydia. Um, we're going to do a live on my YouTube channel. Really soon. I will let you guys know on Instagram and on YouTube when that'll happen. Hopefully very soon. Uh, I want to do a live so you guys can ask her questions and, um, you know, find out what she, she's very knowledgeable about all things vintage. And she is, uh, has a background in the textile industry. So do I, but mine's automotive. So yeah, it's not that fun. Hers is way more interesting, I'm sure, <laughs> than mine. So what we'll do is we'll have a live with her and I, just get your questions ready. Rapid fire. Come on. She is just so knowledgeable. She, you guys will love her. I love her. I think she's amazing. But while I was there, I obviously did some shopping. Why? Because I can. So I'll show, show you a couple of things I got. I'll save the best for the last because those are really good. The first thing I got was, well, the first thing I saw was this. And I, I think it was on a video. This uh, sewing box. Look at that. Oh, my God. That is 1960s if I ain't never seen it. Got the handle. It's a real good shape. There is no damage to it whatsoever. Even a little clasp, a little butterfly. Look, so we'll open it up and see what's inside. There's nothing inside except for this. So it's got the part for you. I mean, don't even look used. This pin cushion don't even look used. I bet my friend Wayne from the Habitashery Project is going to want this. Wayne, you want this? Because <laughs> he sews. Um, so this is a good little box. It's got the pin cushion here. It's got a little pocket. A little pocket. A little pocket. Is that a little pocket? I don't know. It's got a pin cushion here. It's got space for your threads your needles it's just oh it's just amazing there's no damage to it whatsoever i just i mean look at that just oh. and if you're not into sewing and you just think it's a cute little box girl you can't a purse let me go to the, to the club with my purse let me go to the club with my purse or the restaurant or wherever you want or just out shopping i mean so versatile. What you could do, yeah, yeah, we're going to talk about it. I just I just love this so much. You could just have it propped open and have little things in it, like little, little like a little display. Like, do I have anything up in here? 
I usually have stuff over here. I do have stuff over here, but I can't reach it. What do I have over here? Do I have anything over here? Anyway, you could put like little pictures or decorative items. Just have it open. Little, ooh, the old fashioned bobbins in here. Ooh, that'd be a cute display. So stuff like that would look really good here. Or you could just use it as a sewing box, which is what its intention is. So that was a great find. A really, there's no maker's market. I don't know if it's handmade or what, but God, look at that. I mean, I saw this and had to have it. So I got this will obviously be for sale in my Etsy shop. So the next thing I got, I don't know if I can show this all like all to you. This is all showing up, Sasha. Again, Dave's not here because he's down south. He'll be back today, but I had to get you know this done. So my assistant's not here to tell me that's in the frame. <laughs> so if it's not in the frame, sorry, sorry about it. So I got this and we, I asked her, this doesn't have any glass in it. It's just the, the, uh, the tapestry in a frame and the frame is just like a little plastic frame, but look at how old it is. There's no damage to the uh, tapestry at all. I asked her, I said, is this needlepoint or what? And she said, she called, referred to it as tapestry. So I'm going to go with that because mm, it's like a peacock and she knows. So that's like, I love it. It's such a, I mean, this on a gallery wall, ooh, I do with all kinds of other things. That'd be so pretty. And it's this is the back, and you can tell it's got that old tape on it. A little bit of the tape is missing here, but you're not gonna see that because it's gonna be against the wall. It's got the little original string on it. It's got no one it doesn't say who made it or when it was made, but look at that. Isn't that great? That's just oh. so that again, that'll be available soon. And then I got this little hair comb. Oddly enough, I do really well with these type of things in my uh, Etsy store. Uh, I like them. I, I wouldn't wear it simply because I would lose it in my hair. I, it would be in there and you'd never see it again. It'd be like, what happened to that comb? Well, it's in there somewhere. Don't know. It's just a lot of hair. But it is a really pretty piece. It's kind of got like a cat's eye. Uh, the flowers are cat's eye with uh, pink rhinestones in the middle. Look at that. That's just a lovely piece. I mean, I might even try to put it in my hair. Because, well, it could be like this. I guess I could just do this. I won't put it in my hair. <laughs> it ain't even going to come out again. That was a nice little piece. Oh, I love that. It's just so pretty. You know, I don't think it's particularly old, old. But boy, is it pretty. And sparkly. Oh, she got some rhinestones on her. Mm, she do. Now, the last two things. I didn't get a lot there. Because I had <laughs> spent the day thrifting oops i had gone that morning i had gone to the car boot sale with jessica thrifty shutterbug and then we stopped at a thrift store on the way back to her house i mean it, we passed right by it it would be rude not to it would then when i came home i said oh i gotta go nip to this i had to go to the post office so then i thought well while i'm here i'll go to a few of the <laughs> charity shops here in the town and i did so pretty much put on. then I went then I went and saw Lady Peacock. So I spent the whole day thrifting when I was supposed to be doing other stuff. So that's why I didn't get a lot from her. So the last two things. <laughs> okay. It's still in the package. Never been used. God, I hope not. Uh is a wide sanitary belt. Look, y'all. I don't know. I'm going to, I am, uh, in the way of feminine products, I won't go into details, but I, I didn't, I'll just say I didn't use these. I, I have no idea how you would put it on. I, I don't even know how it works. It is old because it's 2-6-D, which is old money. It's old money that these were sold. So that's it. I don't know if you can, that's picking up. I mean, why did I buy it? Because, oh. I think I showed it in my video. Why not? Then she's like, oh, you like that? You like this? Another sanitary belt. Same brand, I believe. Yep. For comfort and security. Well, sure. Yeah, I haven't even opened it. Should I open it? I don't know. I don't want to. Okay, I'm going to open it. Oh, it looks just like the other one. It's pink. It's like a pink satiny, you know, because nothing says feminine like pink and satiny. 
when you top a month. Uh, that's yeah. That I'm gonna leave it in there. You know, I'm gonna leave that for the uh. Yeah, so yeah, it's the same. Uh, Robinson and Sons LTD, Chesterfield in London, England. Good to know the town next to me made sanitary belts for mass consumption. Those were hilarious. I just don't know why I thought they were funny. I, I don't think they're funny. I, well, I do think they're funny. I don't care. I think they're funny. <laughs> so I got those. It's still in the package. Never been used. I hope not. Um... Yeah, I, th those were just, uh, I, will I sell them? Yeah, uh, sure. Did you sell that on Etsy? I don't really know. Um, I guess it's vintage, so it falls under that category. Uh, I don't know about feminine hygiene products, but okay, sure. You know, I'm going to, I'd probably sell them together, and I, they would be cute in, <laughs> in a display. They'd be cute in display. <laughs> just sanitary belt up for display i mean it'll be used you're fine right <laughs> sorry I, 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 how could i not buy them i mean you know i just like we've come a long way baby we you know we don't need these anymore <laughs> thankfully okay you guys that's my haul y'all from lady peacock vintage headquarters thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate it don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. And which one was your favorite thing? I don't know it was this, right? This was your favorite, wasn't it? Yeah, y'all tell me. Wasn't the cone, wasn't the sewing box, wasn't the picture. It was the uh, sanitary belt. All right. Thanks so much. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.